Hey everybody, welcome back to our modded farm. We've got UI Info Suite back, as you can see by the little pet hand. And oh, what a joy it is. Thank you so much to everyone who recommended in the... Oh, thank you, Pam. Thank you for everyone who recommended that I download UI Suite 2, because it's working. I very much appreciate everyone's guidance. It is, it is a big plus. I don't entirely know what I want to do today, but I have a few ideas. We have rice. We can get some rice. I want to do some focus on farm design. I want to figure out how we're going to set up our farm. Because I have no idea for the future. We can't really do that yet because we don't have, like, any buildings or anything. I want to get a barn. But we're also poor. I want to make a lot of money. So many things I want to do. We need to make sure... Because I want to upgrade tools and buy a barn and go into summer with enough money to buy all of the new seeds we want to check out. So we're going to need a lot of money. So we need to focus some on, on making some cash today. Oh, level three farming. Okay, shout out rice. Okay, so let's let's start the day off by clearing some land, and I'm gonna sell all this rice. Also, I'm gonna change where we put our torches because I like I like the idea. I like the ideas that we had with putting a couple near the shipping bin. So we're gonna do that. I don't like having torches on my porch. I think it looks weird. I'm just gonna throw them around the field. There we go. You right there. Okay, let's clear some land. We have a lot of debris everywhere, and we haven't been doing a good job of getting it out of our sights. We've been doing a little too much uh, everything but farm upkeep. Just because with all these new mods, it's so, like, tempting to just ditch everything else and just focus on making all these new machines, but we need to remember that we also have a farm to run. So we're gonna do that. I I have a tough time with farm design unless I just like feel inspired. So like the, the farm I made for my 100 days and 200 days videos, that one I was really proud of because I like made the design beforehand and thought it looked cool. But now that I'm actually being forced to come up with one on the spot, it's a lot harder and I don't really know how I want to organize my farm. So I'm gonna say if anyone has any fun ideas for how I should put together my farm, let me know in the comments. I'm very eager to see what you guys think I should do. I would also like a backpack upgrade. We just don't have any money. We're just very poor. I think it's because we spent so much money on these new crops that ended up not being very profitable at all. So let's, we'll do some more. We'll do like a little bit of clearing every day because we don't have a lot of energy and I don't want to blow it all on clearing land. We have so many geodes. I would very much like, oh, we got some dried passion fruit. Let's go. Let's ship that. I would very much like to make some cash, and I guess the best way to do that right now is going to be to go fishing, but I do want to save, I like to save fishing for last. I think it's a good, like, wind down activity. I think what we're going to do is just do a little more land clearing and try to figure out how we want to set up our farm for the future. Would love a tool upgrade as well, but we... As said before, have no money. Plus, we'll have some strawberries that'll get harvested pretty shortly, and that'll give us some cash. All right, and we are pretty much out of energy. So that's just about everything we can do. We do have a little more room to work with, though, so that's good. So for now, we have all these trellises here. This is not going to be a permanent thing. This is just going to become like a planting field once we have like sprinklers and stuff like that. Let's maybe do some foraging. I'm not entirely sure what we should do because we're like out of energy completely. I have an idea. Let's take all of our geodes, we're gonna go to Clint's, we're gonna bring five copper bars, and we're gonna upgrade our pickaxe. And it is gonna put us a little bit under, money-wise, but I think it is a necessary sacrifice. Plus, we have like a million geodes, so we should crack those. We don't have a lot of inventory space, though. That's gonna be really obnoxious. Oh shoot, we have like no inventory We should have dumped our tools. Ugh, well it's too late. Alright, Clint, don't screw me this time. What did I just say? Oh my god, we literally don't have space. We can only do one at a time. Shoot, and we can't get- We can't go ahead and upgrade our axe because then he won't be able to crack geodes. Oh, but I want to save the ore. Ugh, we really screwed ourselves. We should have dumped all our tools. Um, and he closes it for us. We don't have time. Shoot, yeah, we just totally bunked it up. Okay, those will sit on the floor. We'll grab them in a second. Let's crack these open. Nice. Okay. Now we need to run, donate them really fast. Yeah, this isn't going to work. We totally screwed this up. We need that backpack upgrade, but we just don't have any money right now. Okay, there we go. This is the jankiest operation of all time. Oh my god, this is so bad. Dude, come on. My geode luck is so bad. And to everyone who always says like, oh, it's because you're not doing it on a good luck day when I complain about it. It's a good luck day. So, Clint, you have literally no excuse. Okay, grab the geodes, and we gotta run donate really, really fast. This is so stupid. This is so stupid. Donate to museum. You. You. We have a billion other things. No, I don't want to rearrange. Okay, you know what? You're wasting my time. You're wasting my time. 
I don't have time for you because you're wasting my time. That clay is gonna screw us. I'm literally gonna, uh, no, this is stupid. I'm just gonna, yeah. We'll have to do this another day. We literally can't. Man, this is a rough start to an episode. We are sucking at this. I had no idea you could suck at an open-ended farm game, but here we are. Let's check on our trash. I mean, that's pretty good. We can eat those really fast. Get some more wood cutting and land clearing done. I think the problem we're having right now is because we kind of rushed getting all these machines. I think most of these machines are meant to be kind of like when you get kegs in the normal game. So like more kind of later game stuff. And we really got them immediately. Oh, I forgot to donate the Malachite. Whatever, we have a bunch of stuff to donate anyway. So anyway, yeah, that kind of, that kind of screwed us a little bit. Okay, let's do as much land clearing as we can before we run out of energy and or time. Probably energy first i just there's too much right now that we need to do that we can't do my brain is too scattered so general farm idea you the thing is whenever i make a farm i almost always have like a little planting area right outside my door i could try to mix it up this time and have my planting area be like off to the side and have this be like something completely different i don't know i'm gonna have to like experiment a little bit with with design ideas because i do want to end up with a nice looking farm i mean that is the goal oh level four foraging Almost at level five. We're almost at level seven fishing. We're doing a lot of fishing, which we're going to do more of today, probably, because we are poor. We're at five energy. If this drops some pine cones, we can, yup, let's go. Two field snacks. Okay, there's always a little bit of growing pain. This is always the most awkward part of a Stardew file for me. Well, not even, usually I don't get to this point because the way I used to always play Stardew Valley, I wouldn't play it for months. I would just like play other games and I would like drop it for a while. One day I would, I would like think of an idea for like a fun Stardew Valley farm and I'd like be like, oh, what do I want it to look like? And then I'd like design a little farm and be like, I'm going to make that. And then I hop in a world, play obsessively for like a month until I make the farm and then drop the game for another few months. But now that I am making content about this game, I can't do that. So I kind of have to like start from scratch without an idea, which can be good. And I should be able to just make a farm from scratch, but not very good at that. It's very overwhelming in the beginning or like in this kind of awkward middle stage where like there we ha I have a few ideas floating around, but not enough money to do any of it. Too many fun things to do, but also too many limiting factors to do any of them. Man, I'm so deep. I'm so deep, guys. Sometimes I can't believe how deep I am. I need a name for the flamingo. You're gonna be, um, I'm gonna name you Toothpick. Good night, dog, as well as Toothpick. Level three farming, level four foraging. Let's see, dried passion fruit, 190. We only have one, but it's because it takes forever. I think that's where most of our money loss is coming from. Oh, we got some cauliflower. Yay. You know what? We have this, okay. We have this entire empty planting field. Why don't we like make an effort to get those five gold parsnips? Cause I think we can do that. Anyway, we've been complaining so much about money. I think it might be a good idea. I, I'm so bent on like make on like refining everything. So all, all my passion fruits I put up to this like dehydrator. Let's just leave like three in there and sell the rest because of how long this takes. Today's Shane's birthday. Okay. What does Shane like? Shane likes pizza, but that's pretty expensive. I'm gonna bin everything, which means tomorrow's gonna be our day where we have a lot of money to play with. Did we complete spring crops? Yes. So we can bin one of the collies and then give the other to Jody because she's looking for one. Okay, wonderful. I'll still put it in the community center chest, even though it's not community center because I'm a thrifty little diva. Okay, so things we need to do today. We need to give Shane a gift. And we bend a lot of stuff, which means tomorrow is gonna be our big money, money day. That means that today we should spend fishing. I think that's the best call here. First of all, let's figure out what we're going to give to Shane. Pizza and beer are both his favorites. We can pop into the saloon later and just kind of see how much they cost. If they're really expensive, then we'll just give him a like. Beer is 400. We can honestly, we can spare that. The saloon doesn't open until noon though which is kind of obnoxious. So the only problem is that I like to fish in the mountain lake, which is kind of out of the way of the saloon. So we'll have to take a little like fishing intermission partway through, but we can handle it. I'm a, I'm a strong baby boy. Ah, oh, shoot. I should have dumped my tools because I'm going to have another space issue. Okay. You know what? Let's just, oh my God. I'm, my brain is so scattered right now. I'm recording this right smack in the middle of my finals week. So this is when all my finals exams are happening. So the last two weeks have been a lot of studying, a lot of exams. My brain is completely fried. I have one brain cell and it's just bouncing around my head like the DVD logo. Okay, I just need this. There we go. All right, let's go fish. We have more dried flowers. Let's dump those really quick. Okay, we should be making plenty of money today. You know what? Let's buy the upgraded backpack. 
from Pierre because I'm going to anticipate that we're going to be making a lot of money tomorrow, which might be an anticipation that ends up killing us, but we're going to do it anyway. I just feel like the backpack upgrade is something that just needs to happen. Wanted slime hunter to slice six frost jellies. 510 gold reward. No, I don't want to do that. I'm going to sell this leak for 60 bucks because I'm a god and... Becky pick. Now I can fit even more corpses in my backpack. Serial murder has never been this efficient. Let me let me nestle into my little cove here. And yeah. I always thought that these were the parts that people would like dislike the most because nothing is really happening. But apparently, most people don't really watch me for the you know what? Actually that makes sense. I'm about to say apparently most people don't watch me for the gameplay. And then I thought about all the stupid things I've done in the past and it makes total sense. But anyway. Most people say they don't watch me for the gameplay, they actually just watch me to hear me ramble. And oh boy, do I ramble. Treasure. Ooh, two largemouth bass, that's a good start. Geode, let's grab those bubbles really quick. I can't wait to attempt and fail to crack- oh thanks, that's super nice. Can't wait to attempt and fail to crack open that geode because I'm a stoopy. Nice, good catch. I almost missed the fish because my brain shut off for a little bit. It went into sleep mode. You, re you ready for this treasure chest? You ready? You ready? Dinosaur egg. Calling it. Dinosaur egg. I mean, like, kinda. A dead frog is pretty much a dinosaur. Like, if I was, like, six and I found a frog corpse, I'd think it's a dinosaur. When I was little, I once watched my dog eat a frog in front of me. It was really awesome and not traumatizing. Okay, after this catch, we're gonna go buy a beer for Shane. All right, give it to me, give it to me. So that's like almost all of our money. Let's go. Oh my God, what are the odds? No, don't drink the beer. Give it, to thank you. Yes, happy birthday. Why are you buying me? I wanna be left alone. Well, we are officially friends, so suck on that. I'm making pals. I'm making pals left and right. Not really, honestly. Most people still don't like me very much. I don't think I've even met everybody. No, not even close. Okay. Next time there's a festival, I'll be sure to talk to everybody so that I can check that little quest off my, my list. All right, this has been the most inefficient day of fishing ever. I tried to go to the lake, had to turn around to dump my tools, and then went to Pierre's, took a detour to buy a backpack, and then went up here, and then took a detour to go to the bubble spot that disappeared as I was running, and then went back, and then took a brief break to go buy a beer, and then gave it to Shane, and then came back, and it's 2 p.m., and we have caught four fish. So my day is going great. Oh my god, more bubbles. I can't wait for them to vanish right in front of my eyes. This one's gonna be a dino egg. Watch. Watch. Literally dino egg. Three, two, one. Boom. Dino egg. Here comes the dino egg. Did someone say dino egg? Because I sure did. It's a spoon. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Thank you. There you go. Let's take advantage of this puppy. I love the word puppy. I call, I call every dog, including both of my own, puppy. No matter what age they are. That's just what my brain says to call them. I just go, hi, puppy, every time I see a dog. For a while, I called, uh, well, my dog Taff. I called him Buddy for a while, and then it's just been puppy for years now. Thanks. I got, like, two fish out of that. Perfect catch for a perfect lad. We're catching a lot of green algae, which I was about to say is a bummer, but we can make a fish pond with that, so I'm actually not too upset. Fish ponds are a little obnoxious, though. It's a lot of upkeep for, like, very little profit. They're fun, though. They're a fun gimmick, and they look pretty. Oh, sick, more bubbles. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's so rude. I'm sure they're reachable from like the other side, but still. Do y'all know that scene in SpongeBob where Patrick's like it zooms in on Patrick's head and it's just like a carton of milk falling over? That's kind of how I've been feeling for the past nine years of my life. SpongeBob, especially like the earlier seasons of SpongeBob, holds up so well like there's a reason that there are so many spongebob memes it's because that show is incredible every time i hear a kid say like oh my mom didn't let me watch spongebob i just like i feel a sudden urge to just hug them because it's like i'm so i i'm so sorry that your childhood sucked that bad i can't remember what i watched when i was super little i think i watched a lot of thomas the tank engine really only because it, it's its name was thomas and i thought that was incredible that someone else could also be named Thomas. Also because I was super into trains. I was a Twain kid. <laughs> I was really into I was really into Twains. Treasure chest, watch this. Dino egg. Check this out. Dinosaur egg. Is that an egg of a dinosaur right there? Nope. It is awful actually. But anyway, so Thomas the Tank Engine, then SpongeBob was a major portion of my life, which then gave way to my like what I consider my cartoon golden age, which was like 10 to 14. I was really into Adventure Time. Really into, um... 
regular show. I watched pretty much everything that was on. I was a cartoon connoisseur of sorts. I watched a good amount of Steven Universe. I watched, I thought Gumball was criminally underrated. That show is so funny. And then the one that I watched with my sister that we both kind of could enjoy together was Gravity Falls. We were both very, very big fans of Gravity Falls. And that was, that was pretty much my, my general like cartoon timeline. I didn't watch Avatar, The Last Airbender until like two years ago. I don't know why. I just never watched it, even though all my friends kept saying it's so good. And I kept being like, oh, I trust you, but I'm not going to watch it for some stupid reason. And then finally I was like, uh, fine. I guess I'll watch this stupid show. And it, unsurprisingly, was so good. Such a good show. Also Phineas and Ferb, I forgot. My sister and I both really liked Phineas and Ferb. My mom really liked Phineas and Ferb. My mom was a big fan of that. I think my mom also liked Gumball a lot. She thought it was really funny. Anyway, I've been rambling. I am so dumb. I was just talking about, oh, let's save our algae for fish ponds. I just ate all of it. It's fine. I honestly wasn't going to make a fish pond anyway. I think they're kind of annoying. I'll, I'll probably end up making it in the future and then just not using it at all just because they look cool. Oh, is that a treasure chest? I think I smell something. It's kind of weird. I, it smells like a... It's kind of like a dino egg. God damn it. Whatever. So we can just sell all of the iridium fish straight up because they um i think the way the canning machine works is that it, it just gives like a set bonus regardless of quality and i think the sell price of regular canned carp is the same as like a an iridium carp straight up so if since we're trying to get a bunch of money like direct tomorrow we can sell all of our iridium fish if i'm remembering that correctly i could be messing it up and screwing myself over would definitely be the first time i've ever done that catch this mother trucker i'm going through a big mother trucker phase so sorry sorry everybody who's not a fan of mother trucker i just think it's so funny just the fact that kids say that like genuinely makes me so happy mother trucker fudge is a favorite Fudge is a favorite of mine. I like just saying F word and B word. It's just, it's a good, it's a grand old time. Unpopular opinion. I think using like fake stand in curse words is funnier than actual curse words. Dino egg. Cool. I hate you. I just took my, <laughs> I just took my Latin final and uh, it, the entire, the entirety of the test was translating. They would give us passages of Roman literature and we would translate them. And I was talking to my friend, <laughs> I was talking to my friend after the test. Any, anyone who t has taken a foreign language before might be able to empathize, empathize with me here. Have you ever like written down a translation for something and then just preemptively felt so embarrassed because you know it's gonna sound so wrong and stupid? Because that's what I did here because we had this big passage and for the most part I kind of knew what was up. But there were a lot of vocab words that I didn't know. Uh, with Latin literature especially, whenever I don't know uh, a noun, I just put it house. <laughs> Because in literature, there's a lot of talk about houses, both physically and like in the family sense. So I usually just put house for everything, which, <laughs> and I guess it's because I was super tired, but one of the sentences had like a bunch of nouns in a row that I didn't know. And I felt really like exhausted and just didn't have the energy to actually think of ideas. So I put like, I put like Phydra turned her house to house, house, house or something like that. It's on my final exam. I just think it's so funny that it, and it's just one of those things where I like, I wrote that down where it, it was some sentence where I put house in there like twice, where it very clearly was not about houses. And I just felt so embarrassed about about just just to be alive in that moment whenever there's a noun i don't know i put house whenever there's a verb i don't know i say fall because there are a lot of verbs that can like metaphorically mean fall and since it's a tragedy there's a lot of talk about falling both from power and just kind of falling and whenever there's an adverb i don't know i just ignore it and translate the sentence without it because that actually works sometimes okay largemouth bass chub carp Bullhead. We'll throw that in there too. We got some more rice shoots. We have so many things to donate. We need to make a donation run at some point. I don't know when that's going to happen though. Maybe tomorrow because we're going to pick up our copper pickaxe anyway. Yeah, we can get our revenge for our failed geode attempts. All right, level seven fishing. Let's see how much we made here. That is way less than I expected, especially the passion fruit. That's actually really sad. Just the random fish I just threw in there got like almost as much wow okay well at least we have enough to i think buy a barn which is what we want to do today i think the barn is eight thousand. my copper pickaxe is ready we have queen of sauce i learned how to cook a radish salad so i'm gonna get 
all kinds of attention from the ladies. Oh, I forgot we were gonna plant parsnips for the five gold parsnip shoot, dude. We do have some, we do have like a sort of coffee empire growing, which is, I guess is fun. This will be our little coffee zone. 500 bucks from mama. Thank you, mama. Oh my God, the fish are going to town right now. Oh, it's almost done. We'll deal with that later. Let's pet our dog. Come back. No, come back. I only want to give you love. Okay, love you. All right, let's think about this. We can always move our barn later, and we probably will, because I do kind of want to put it in, like, the bottom right, but that has all the big stones on it for now. I don't know if we have much of a choice. Let's just... Okay, let's just grab all of our stone and wood. Let's finally realize our barn dreams. I'm so proud of us as a community. And then we'll come back... We'll do a bunch of geode cracking. We'll get our copper pickaxe. And then I guess we can try to make some mines progress. Oh, wait, no, it's a bad luck day. Let's save the mines for later. We can maybe do some community center stuff. I don't know. We'll see. Ma'am, how do I make a barn coop? Barn. 6,000. Okay, we need a little bit more stone. We can do that. And let's do what we always do and screw ourselves over financially by buying pretty looking paths. Did I already do it? No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, crystal path looks different. They retextured it. So it doesn't look stupid anymore. Neat. I'm still not going to use it. I'll get, I'll get stepping stone. I'll definitely get stone walkway. I love stone walkway. Bricks do look pretty nice. I don't know though. And we'll need, we'll need an iron lamppost for the future. It's that time, everyone. I can't believe we're doing it. We don't have a silo. <laughs> we don't have a silo, guys. Okay, the silo will have to come second, which is, which you should never, ever do. But I think what we'll do is the second we, this barn is done, we'll work on a silo while we raise money to get cows. I think that's a, I think that's a fine deal for now. Until we get that area cleared, that's going to be really inconvenient. We can move stuff later. Let's just stop being a whiny little idiot and just throw it down. All right, we have a poorly placed barn. We'll, we'll pick a spot for it later when we can kind of clear out some more some more land. All right, let's get our revenge on Clint today. And we can also buy some parsnip seeds because we're looking to get some goldies as soon as we can. All right, let's grab our geodes. Gunther, 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 Gunther. Wow. Gunther is about to have the day of his life and he got another book oh my god gunther i'm so proud of you gunther i'm about to make you poop your panties prepare to have your panties pooped <laughs> bink bonk bink bonk bonk bink wow that's a lot of things i got some c's i got some c's i got some c's i got some painting got some standing geode flawless flawless delivery from the rookie all right clint oh my god new pickaxe let's go Wow, you're doing so great, dude. Keep it up. Dude, Gunther thinks he's safe. I'm coming back with another shipment, dog. Just you wait. This dude is having the busiest day of his life. And he just cleaned his panties, too. Okay, what's with the duplicates, dude? We got four of those. We got four calcites and three whatever the frick. Jagoites. Gunther, I have thing. There you go. There you go. There you go. Wow. What a day of donating. We got singing stone and another painting. Now that's two, count them, two paintings. I am simply over the moon. It's Farmer Therm. Yep, shut up. I don't really like you that much. You're my least favorite character. And parsnips. All right, now we just got to pick out a nice, lovely, lovely spot for our lovely, lovely parsnips. Can't believe we completely skipped the whole silo step. I'm so stupid. We'll leave a spot open for our eventual coffee companion. I want to get like a nicer, I want to get the nicer sprinklers in preparation for my bloob, my blueberry, because I'm going to do a big old blueberry crop. I always do in the summer. I have an idea. Excuse me, young lad. Can I put you here? Will you still cover all? You will still cover all. You will go there then, because I want to do some decor. We have no stone. <laughs> Ding. I would like to get some stones because I would like to to work on a little bit of layout design. So we'll do some we'll do some rock rock smacking. Okay, we are like completely out of energy. Let's freaking go. I would like to work on a little path here. We got our new stone walking floor recipe, and I am gonna start working on a nice little path down here. I just noticed that this would make a nice path down to my barn area. 
for my planting area. This is all kind of annoying. It's gonna be deceased though, eventually. This is what usually happens. First day of spring, we just throw stuff everywhere. And then the first day of summer, we actually make like a nice and tidy farm. Excuse me, toothpick. I'll put you right back down. Don't you worry. This like little stone floor thing is my absolute favorite one in the game. It's just, it looks so nice. Are oh, you telling me I seriously can't put paths under these chests unless I go move them? Ugh, okay. A little farm is coming together quite nicely. Okay, we're gonna have to do a big ol' like, chest moving project because I have an idea. Okay, there we go. We got our, we got our shipping bin. Let's do this. Let's grab chest. We're gonna just throw this over here. We are going to, one by one, transport everything into that chest. And then we'll go like this, and then we'll go like that. Oh, so a lot of you said you didn't like that I made all my chests white. So we're gonna make them grayscale. We're gonna make this one white, and then they're gonna fade to black. I think that might look nice. We're gonna just throw everything in there. Although I need to keep this, I need to keep this. Next chest is all of this stuff. I'm not realizing that I didn't have to do the whole thing where I make another chest. That is completely unnecessary. I literally just have to hold it for like 12 seconds. It's been a long day. And we're gonna slowly start fading to black because we're artsy like that, dude. We're just kind of quirky. We're just quirky and different. Darker yet, it's darker still. Yet, yet darker. What's the freaking term? It gets yet darker. Is that the word? I give up, I don't even care. Okay, so making the new chest was a waste of 50 wood because we ended up not needing it. Let's go. I'm sure time will come in the future where we need another chest, but until then, that will go there. Now, let's let's see. I do want one more torch. It's a little dark over here, so I'm gonna do that. There we go. Okay, and then Toothpick can just do his thing in peace. This is where all of my furnaces will go. This will be like my little like furnace channel. And then I'll have a planting area right here. A little bit more planting, maybe a planting area over there. This is where my barn is for now. Later, my barn will be over here. And then I'll have this whole other left side of my farm for other shenanigans. Okay, for now though, I think we have an adequate amount of shenanigans. Wow, this looks really nice actually. Guys, I'm very happy with, with what we've done here today. And good night. Oh my God, this is a big day. Oh, it looks like we missed a, we missed watering these once. Oops, okay, well, we got some flowers, most of our passion fruit, and our first strawberry harvest are all ready to go. Our farm is looking nicer, everything is looking up, but unfortunately all of this is gonna have to wait until next time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a few days. Goodbye.